It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Bruce Lee and Leonardo Santos. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 19 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Leonardo Santos! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this world. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. That kick blocked by Santos. Left hand punch from the clinch. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Just misses there with the left. And he comes through with a big knee. Yeah. All right, let your hands go. 
Nice strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. A nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Trying to establish that jab once again. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, that big knee, knee there. That knee hurt him. Doesn't find its home. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. That's a big strike right there. They continue to exchange. Just missed with the left there. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast that he always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, single collar tie here. His left hand punches the clinch. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Yeah, hurt him a little bit. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And they separate. Oh, and he caught the kick. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Lee gets caught with that punch. A little cut below that left eye. Single collar tie now. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big head kick lands. Oh, man, the counters on point all night. There's the overhand left. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Good leg kick checked by Santos. Nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He blocks the punch. And they set. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he certainly added to his highlight reel in that previous round. DC, a lot of effective kicks there to the bottom. And he did a great job of setting up those kicks. He's not throwing blind body kicks. He's not just throwing the kick. He's throwing it behind jabs. He's throwing it behind punches, making his opponent think high, and then blasting that kick right into his opponent's body. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. Opposition in this division. Back 
to the left hand now, unable to connect. Massive head kick. Man, he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Got him down to his knee earlier in the fight with a liver shot. He knows he's hooked there, and he'll continue to target that area. Good strategy. Out of range with that one. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Santos gets tattooed with that hook. He's going to have to change some things here. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Able to check the high kicks. That one snuck in. Nice, nice. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole play. platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Pretty significant well to the left side. Visibly limping here. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. Oh! Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. by this young man. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Got the single collar tie. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it stop throwing. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keep making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice punch, Lance. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. Over. Now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump or he can chase his mission. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Ten minutes in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so
right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Ready. Third round underway. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Whoa! So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Lee's face would have to be classified as a mess. Cut on his cheek and it's only getting worse. Nice kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop to this contest at 50 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.